affiliate article, writers.com, with a quick tip on how to upload images or gravatars to your account so that when you post, we'll see what you look like, which is a good thing. We want to see what all the members look like. It builds camaraderie, builds a, tight, uh, a more tightly knit community. Uh, I have my gravatar up. Amy has her gravatar up, so you can see her windswept uh, Caribbean island appearance. You can see my overly conservative tie appearance, which is the only time I've ever worn a tie in my life, by the way. That's not who I typically am. In any case, we have a whiteboard here, and it's really this simple. We're going to just go over these steps really quickly, and I hope everyone who watches this does upload their Gravatar. Please do it. Please do it for the community. Please do it for yourself so people can get to know you better, and I think what's going to happen is if you do that, People are going to connect with you better and they're going to want to help you more. So if you have questions in the forum and you have a Gravatar, they're going to associate your name with your face and it's just going to create a more human element to doing business on the internet, which as we know, one of the big disadvantages is all of the anonymity of being spread across the world. So we kind of want to do this to make, to make it seem like the affiliate article writers is a more closely knit family, so to speak. Okay. So this is how you upload a Gravatar. One, you're going to log into the forum. Um, so if you go to Affiliate Article Writers, there's going to be the forum button at the top. I keep my username and password saved so I never have to put it in. So if you keep your saved, then just click forum and then you'll obviously you'll be automatically logged into the forum. Two, you're going to see a thing that says user control panel. I know that you guys often probably don't click on this, but you'll see it there. It's going to be on the left. It's going to be on X on the upper left. User control panel. Click on that. Step three, you're going to see a list of, a short list of options on the left hand side of the screen. One of the options is going to say edit avatar. So you're going to click on that one, edit avatar. Step four, you're going to be presented with an area where you can upload the image from your computer. Okay, now what I don't have listed here, but what you're going to see is you're going to see a button that says browse. And you're going to, if you have an image saved on your computer already, which, which you should, uh, a picture you've taken, you download it, you saved it into a file on your computer, when you click browse, it's going to open up uh, a search function on your computer. So if you save it on the C drive and some folder called images, then just go to your C drive and go find that folder called images. Then you're going to select which image you want, maybe you have more than one, uh, and then you know just name it like picture or picture of me so you can find it easily. Um, click, double click that and that string of uh, that image is going to fill in automatically where it says browse. It's just going to fill in automatically. Last step, all you got to do is hit submit. Boom. That's it, you're done. Uh, after that, anytime you post or all of your previous posts are automatically going to have your image associated with it. So if you go to the forum, go back and look at any of the posts I've written and you're going to see now my picture and all you know 700 posts I've written. Amy as well, she has her image up. You'll see her, her, her little mug shot uh, on all of her posts. And it's really that simple. The only caveat that I didn't list here is your image can't be more than a certain degree, certain width, a certain length. Um, you will see when you go to the step four where you can upload it, you're going to see. It's good. They're going to have the specifications, how wide the pixels can be, how long it can be. So just make sure the image isn't something huge. Um, otherwise, you shouldn't have a problem. If it is too big, just learn how to crop it down and uh, should be no problem. So once you hit submit, that's it. Everyone's going to get to know you better. So for all of these students who haven't done this yet, please do it. Easy and Articles has done it at their blog. It's been a huge hit. They just, they just have done this about four days ago. That blog post has received over 1,200 views. Um, I have my Gravatar up there, so every time I comment on an Easy and Articles blog, you'll see my picture and adds a personal credibility human element or dimension to all of my posts now and uh, people just love it and I think it's a great idea. Uh, I think any idea on the internet where we, we can get to know each other a little bit better in whatever capacity we can, just like me talking to you right now on this camera, 
is is a good thing. It, 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 it's me reaching out to you, you getting to know me better, shooting this video. Adam, as you know, is, is the camera crew for today. We're in inside my home. So um, so I hope you guys found, found something beneficial. Hope you guys actually do this. And hope you guys enjoy seeing all of each other's pictures. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks.